everyone, welcome to part 4 of Journaling by Fives. Um, I didn't need to speed up this video too much because it was just 14 minutes and 30 seconds I think. So I just uh, sped it up just enough to get under the 10 minutes. Um, because I think videos of 10 minutes are, are a good length. <laughs> uh, but that's my personal opinion. Um, so part 4 is all about creating your focal image. So um, um, I am putting on images that I cut out um, out of um, um, designer paper that these these flowers you see are from a designer paper. They're just uh, pre-cut because otherwise it will take too much time because we only have 15 minutes. Now the other things are uh, die cuts, um, magazine cutouts, and and that that head that you see there I drew, and uh, it didn't make the cut, <laughs> so I just thought I'm going to use it. I knew which um, card I was going to put her on, uh, so um, well that well that's just that. <laughs> um, um, I didn't um, think about um, which die cut to put on which paper so in the end um, I didn't have enough and I didn't have enough uh, time to go through all my um, leftovers to well, find something that fits so I really have to wing it sometimes <laughs> uh, this is the lady uh, I told you I was going to use her and if you see her now, she is unrecognizable. <laughs> I changed her up completely. <coughs> and I am halfway with a free play, so I'm in card 9 uh, for the free play. And then I will show you everything, of course. So, um, well, just gluing down bits and pieces. And um, I try to match colors a bit so I think that's uh, the most important thing and uh, well that's just it can't say anything about that it's just glue it down and uh, the bird I was struggling with but uh, I am pleased with the position that he is in now sorry I'm drinking some tea because my throat is hurting just a little bit and uh, otherwise I will cough through the whole video <laughs> and that's not pleasing to hear so um, th this is not my favorite one I have to say because of the colors but we will manage don't know what to do with the hand but I thought it was a nice picture so And I found lots and lots of things that I didn't know I had. So I was uh, pretty surprised on all those uh, industrial kind of things that I've got there. Oh yeah. I see a lot of people doing it now. I think it's a great, great uh, thing to do. And for the next uh, series, because I'm go I'm hooked, I am going slightly bigger, so A5 size, and uh, I'm going to do more white. So you know, I am always just putting so much on that there is no white left, and I need to. I want to practice uh, leaving more white on the card. I can't guarantee that I will succeed but I will try. So this is one of the cards that I'm winging because I didn't have a good image to go on there. So eight minutes in. No, uh, <laughs> uh, I wish seven minutes in. Eight minutes left.
I'm using the decoupage glue for this <coughs> particular uh, part as well. I might uh, switch to gel medium because this is quite a thick paper that you see here and it took me a while to glue it down and uh, I think that the gel medium has a better grip. I have that uh, that heavy gel medium from uh, Liquitex and it holds almost anything so uh, I don't know why I didn't use it for this part but okay. I really love this image um, and I had that hard. I cut that out of a piece of cardstock and uh, I think this, this, this card is turning out in one of my favorites in the end you'll see of course so um, now this is the car that I wanted to put that head on because uh, I do like the image and uh, when I go over it I smudge uh, her face well, that was a bit of a disaster happening but okay in part 5 I will fix that and I really, I just watched uh, a video on markers from Cat Hand, and um, we have a craft fair uh, next week, and I really need to buy me some good markers uh, that won't smudge and can go on virtually anything. I know I've asked you this before, because and I will find that video where I ask it, and I will read your comments. But um, I am watching several videos on which marker to go where, so. Uh, and uh, oh, that's it. It's my favorite piece of uh, uh, jelly plate print. And then this one. And I think that I am almost there in my 19 cards. And I think I used up almost anything except for the legs as you see <laughs> and that's what I said I wasn't satisfied with uh, the things that I had left over but uh, there was no time uh, to find me some new ones so I just used what I had f uh, chosen in the beginning now this is the weird one the dark one and it's getting even weirder putting that industrial kind of thing on it. I think I'm going to use some gold on this um, card or silver met metallic kind of feel. I'll see what I can think of to make this a pretty one. Now I think that this is it. This was the last one. So um, I am going to show you of course what I have done. So kind of a recap. Three minutes left so it was quite quick. Now cleaning up the mess a bit. Trying to save her. <laughs> I really was devastated by uh, the smudging on her face uh, but I, I learned to live with it and I'm fixing it later so now up to the cards here they are the smudged face, smudged face like that one hmm don't know what to do with this <laughs> Ah. Love, love, love that one. Very girly. And this one turned out quite nice as well. Still don't know what to do with that one. Don't know what to do with that one. <laughs> mm. I think that a lot of you do it like that saying what you don't like about them. Now, thank you for watching everyone and I'll see you next week. Bye bye.